ladies, how are you? I hope you guys are doing wonderful. So I was, well, no, I asked to join a collab. Um, and it is things that we wished we knew before we got pregnant. Um, and, well, since I have four kids, I have to tell you that with each pregnancy, there was a few things that I wished I would have known. But starting off with the very first pregnancy ever, sorry for the glare. Um, you know, there's, there's just things that you wish you knew. And I am so excited that they allowed me to be part of this collab, and I hope to do more with them in the future. I will have everybody linked below, because I will. And I hope you guys will check out their channels and listen to them if you are trying to get pregnant or um, are thinking about it. Here's just a little insight on things that, well, I wish I knew I, before I got pregnant. So let's start off. Um, wow. <laughs> First and foremost, let me tell you, if you are trying to get pregnant or you're thinking about it and, and you already know it's going to change your world, let me tell you the moment you find out for sure from a doctor, like not even the piece test at home, but from a doctor, like the doctor says you are pregnant, um, that changes your whole world in itself. Um, I never thought that I could love something so intensely and not physically, well, okay, I guess physically it's inside me, but not physically be holding it in, like, my arms or cuddling with it so much. Like, so, so much. Oh, my goodness. I bawled the first time. Um, well, I can't say my first time. I miscarried twice prior to that at four uh, months, and that was very painful. And if you'd like to hear about that, I can give you that in another video, but my my first full-born child, um, I was terrified when the doctor said I was pregnant, but I was so overwhelmed with joy. Um, me and my husband made sure we, we went out and got everything. I mean, the moment we found out, we went out and got everything, but it changes you inside. Like, I, even the other two, they change you inside. Like, you're, you're, you you I don't, I don't want to say tippy toe, but you're like, okay, okay, is this okay? Is that okay? Can I do this? Can I do that? And it, it's, it's, it's an awkward little thing that I'm okay. Can, can I have this? Or maybe I shouldn't have too much of that. Or maybe I shouldn't do too much of this or too much of that. It depends on what you're into. Um, I used to walk a lot, and you can walk, but I'll get into that in a minute with me. Um, you just, you know, I don't know, you change your world. Ooh, sorry. We are reorganizing the house, so excuse the, the mess. Um, another thing that I really, really wish I would have known before I got pregnant, and not that it even changes anything. Um, younger, I wish that I would have known that normally when you're, and I'm, I wasn't that young, I was, well, okay, I was 17. Uh, 18? No, I was 18. I was 18 when I got pregnant with my first child. I was 19 when I got pregnant with my second child. And I lost both of them, like I said, for four and a half months. Um, but I wish I would have known at that age that a lot of people, a lot of girls don't go full term. They actually do miscarry. That's a common occurrence. Because at that point, I was terrified that I was never going to carry a baby. Which is kind of funny in itself, because younger, I don't remember ever being like, yeah, I want kids. I'm going to have kids. I actually, I had nothing against kids, but I kind of just wanted to be, I don't know, happy with, my, with me and other people. I had anxiety. Well, I still have anxiety disorder, but like, I... I don't know, with my anxiety disorder, I was kind of terrified of having children and not being able to care for them properly, I guess is what I want to say, um, which for another subject, another video, I do want to get into that, but um, obviously I was wrong, and yeah, so I really wish, you know, I would have known 
that if you are younger, which I don't, uh, never mind, that's another video in itself too, I guess, but younger you will generally miscarry at least your first one because your body's not prepared. It's not mature enough to carry a baby. So, you know, 16, 17, 18, um, the body is still changing and developing and, and preparing for life and for you to carry life. So, and that's, a, that's something I talk to my doctor about. So I'm not just making up these random things. It is legit. Your body is 95% of the time not ready to carry a baby at, you know, all these young ages that people are trying to get pregnant at. Um, so anyways, another thing that I wish I would have known, and we're going into my full term now, my oldest, which is Skylar, um, I wish I would have known that I would have been sick my whole pregnancy. Now, this is not common for people um, to be sick their whole pregnancy. Normally, it's, you know, the first term, and then it's gone, and then you might get a little bit towards the end of your term, or it, I mean, you might get it sporadically, but no. I literally had morning sickness from the time I woke up to the time I went to bed <laughs> for nine months. Literally. Um, they tried giving me different things that I could take to um, to help me not have my morning sickness um, all stinking day long. As a matter of fact, I had to quit my job because between immense back pain and um, nausea and vomiting, um, I, I just I couldn't work. I, it wasn't working out. <coughs> but you know that's that's okay. That is okay. Um, Hold on, take a vape. Yes, I'm a vapor, if anybody doesn't know that, but I am. Give me a second. Okay, sorry. So, yeah, I really wish I would have known I was going to be sick the whole time so I could prepare a little bit better and have, you know, lived closer to family to be helped with. We did eventually move um, from where we were at when I found out I was pregnant in New Mexico back to California. So I did have some help. Um, I wish it would have known that our stupid state insurance would have been on and off, on and off, on and off, the whole stupid time, like, the whole time, and mind you, I'm high, I was high risk, I was a very high risk pregnancy, um, and our insurance kept on cutting off for some reason, I don't know why, and I know people like a state insurance don't be, you know, bitching, but, um, when you're high risk and you don't have any of the insurance and you can't afford insurance, uh, yeah, the state's supposed to be there to help you with your pregnancy. Anyways, um, that, yeah, I really wish I would have known that starting at three and a half, four months, I would have started, I was having labor. I was having early labor. So I was put on bed rest. Um, I wasn't so bad, like, uh, some women who have to stay at the hospital on their legs, you know, their 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 legs rise above their head and all this. But I did have, I was in and out of the hospital a lot from uh, right around the end of three and a half into the fourth month of my pregnancy. I was in and out of the hospital a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot um, with contractions. Um, and I had a lot of people outside of the hospital, like my friends, arguing with me that it was not contractions, it was Braxton Hicks, and, um, you know, I had to let them know, no, it, it, they're, they're contractions, that's why they keep me in the hospital for two, three days before they let me go home, that's why I was having spotting, that's why I was having this, that's why I was having that, um, I was having spotting, a lot of spotting with her, um, which later on the doctors did tell me it was okay, I had spotting with them, like, I basically, like, had a period off, you know, every month while I was pregnant with her, which a lot of people don't know. That is very, I don't want to say common, but it is something that can happen. You can have basically like a quote-unquote a period um, throughout throughout your pregnancy, and, you know, which would, you'd think is odd because you're pregnant. But, yes, I had spotting and bleeding off and on throughout my whole first full term baby. And I was terrified. I was always in. The other thing that was terrifying is as much as 
it, this is going to sound so odd and people always, oh no, 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 no. Okay, I have a very high tolerance of pain, so my contractions, um, even when I go into the hospital to give labor, are very subtle. Uh, not subtle, I mean, they're not subtle, they're big on the monitor, but for me, it's more like a discomfort. It's like, oh my gosh, I just can't, you know, uh, can't get comfortable. I mean, I, I move, and my husband's all like, oh no, hell no, we're going in, we're going to get you checked because this is not right. So that's how we actually found out that I was having contractions. They weren't even Braxton Hicks, they were, I mean, off the charts. <laughs> off the charts and it, it was terrifying terrifying uh, but we made it through we did make it we made it through <laughs> i have her she's now 11 um and then what else oh i wish i would have known like literally legitly how much did you need like okay you do need a lot of diapers you need clothes um but to be honest don't okay for me my personal opinion is you really don't need you know a bouncer a swing a crib a this a that a blah blah um which we had for my first baby like everything everything possible uh honestly you can get away with getting um a pack and play one of the ones that has like the top section and it has like little diapery things over here and and then it, once they get a little older put them down farther um and that is really all you need because, to be honest, my all of my kids slept in their, well, okay, the first two were the only one who got a crib. The last two, we just said, screw it, we're just getting a pack, pack and play, and that's exactly what we did. Um, they can sleep, I mean, in their swing, they, which is what a lot of babies do, or in their bouncer, or in their pack and play, because that's where they're going to be like 95% of the time. I'm not kidding. So... Um, yes, I know being a first mother is exciting to go get all this stuff. It, by all means, do it. It's it's your choice. I just really wish I would have known uh, that it just would have been easier to get a swing and a pack of play and then to close your diapers and your wipes and everything else. That would have saved us a ton of money and I could have stocked up on um, formula and stuff like that because my children had to do soy milk when they were first born. Um, I wish I would have known how hard it was going to be to breastfeed. And yes, this is one of those subjects, that, oh, blah, 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 so hard, so hard. No, I had a horrible time breastfeeding. My oldest does have Down syndrome, so with that, I have to say she has a larger tongue, and they did warn me that it would be hard to breastfeed her. So, but we did try, I tried for three months, and um, between that and bottles, just to make sure she got fed, and I wasn't producing. So I didn't produce enough milk. So I went out and bought Blessed Thistle and Mother's Milk and all kinds of things to help produce milk. And as it did produce some extra, it didn't produce enough extra. So I, I ended up just go ahead and giving her a bottle. It was a little bit easier, but I mean, that, that that's just me. I really wish you would have known how hard it was or wish you would have known, you know, to start sooner on some of these. Some of them you can take while well, you're pregnant, some you cannot. They, this is to just wait on the, uh, like the Blessed Thistle and Mother's Milk and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I really, really, really wish I would have known that because I would have started earlier so I could have breastfed for longer because that was a very, for me, breastfeeding was very important. I wanted to be able to breastfeed, but. Um, I wish I would have known how cruel doctors could be when you got pregnant. My gosh, when you're like, I don't know, for me at least in New Mexico and California, it, it seemed like because I was younger, I was, how old was I? I was 20 going into being 21. Doctors were kind of rude, to be honest. Very, very rude. 21 going to be 22. They were rude. It was like, I, and I did look a lot younger. I, I will, I will say, I looked at 21, 22. I looked like I was 16, and that's not like two my own more. I did. I looked young. I, everybody always thought that. We were walking in Kmart and stuff, and Walmart, 
picking up baby stuff. I mean, my husband were, you know, oh. and just the whispers. Oh my God, that like 16 year old's pregnant. Uh, I can't believe her mother. Uh, you know, and yeah, I'll admit I snapped a few times. So, you know, get, get, do be prepared for some ridicule, no matter what age you are. Um, it, it comes with the territory, and I don't know why, you know, a new baby is supposed to be something that we all, it's new life, it's, it's, it's joyful, it's not hate. I wish I would have known that my anxiety would have went out the roof. I have anxiety, I have horrible, horrible, horrible anxiety, and that is some of the reasons, um, anyways. I have horrible anxiety, so when I'm pregnant, my, my anxiety like bounces up and down, and I don't take anything, I refuse. And that is my own personal preference. It's not to say that you cannot take anything, I believe. That, well, they did have something that I could take if I needed it, but I just, out of my own personal preference, decided I didn't want to. Uh, but I did have, you know, up and down mood swings, and where I felt like nobody loved me, and I hated this, and I hated that. And, it's not fun, but, but that's not with everybody. You will have mood swings though, not, not horribly, um, not horribly. Like, I know my, I've had other friends and it's like, ah, la, 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 but they did get sad when they watch, uh, commercials, which I did too. Um, you'll get like a little extra heated when you see something on the TV that, um, <laughs> that shouldn't really bug you that much. But I'm not talking about news or anything, I'm talking about like commercials. This, oh, I don't like that commercial. And from that to, oh, I hate that commercial. But, yeah. What else? Um, sorry for running a little longer than what I thought. I can't think of anything else. I think, I mean, basically, there's a lot of emotions and there's a lot of ridicule and there's a lot of, um, Pregnancy is so different than what you think it's going to be before you get pregnant. Way different. Completely and utterly different. Like, I just, I don't even know how to describe it. There's just things that I wish, like I just described to you guys, that I would have known beforehand. I mean, don't get me wrong, I heard about high-risk pregnancies and stuff like that, but I never really was given full detail. Um, I never, oh, I lost friends. I lost friends. I wish I would have known I was going to lose some friends because I would have gotten rid of them to start with. Um, so when my, when my contractions started happening, they, they put me on this, hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. That was my daughter's teacher calling to tell me about her massive tantrum she had yesterday, <laughs> which is another thing. I wish I would have known some of the things I know now, um, that as far as my child with a disability, there's a lot more that's put into it, but they're such a joy to have. They really, really are. And I'll, I'll touch bases on that on another video, but there, there's a lot of things that I really wish I just would have known. And it doesn't change the fact that I, I, I love my child and I would love them no matter what, but just things that kind of would have been helpful. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like me to touch bases on anything else or go into any other stories, let me know in the comments below. I am more than willing to share everything. I'm, I'm pretty open. So let me know, and I don't know, we'll do chatting with others. I'll talk to you later.